thank you very much for having me once again on this show, Clexel. I'm Dr. Bismarck Osefriye, an optometrist by profession, and within this short period, I'll be talking about the eye disease called glaucoma. There are three reasons why we should talk about glaucoma, your way of life, your vision, and your family. So if you've not subscribed, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel so that we can learn together to preserve our vision and achieve our goals, purpose, and dreams in life. I would also encourage you to share the videos with your friends, family, and loved ones so that together we can all have meaningful lives. Alright, so within this short period, I'll be talking about some questions that people are asking me about the disease called glaucoma. The first question here is, what is glaucoma? The glaucoma is simply an eye disease which leads to progressive loss of vision with characteristic visual field defect and a characteristic optic neuropathy. Let me take my time and explain each of these. When you hear of pathy, it simply means disease. So optic neuropathy, disease of the optic nerve. If you want to know the optic nerve, I would encourage you to watch the previous video in which I explained the part of the eyeball. So characteristic optic neuropathy means there are different eye diseases which can affect the optic nerve, but glaucoma has a particular way, a unique way, a special way in which it affects the optic nerve. So not every disease of the optic nerve is glaucoma. Glaucoma has a characteristic way it affects the optic nerve. The next thing is, is, is a characteristic visual field defect. Now what we mean by visual field is simply this. As I'm looking straight ahead, I can still see things to my side, what we call the periphery. I can still see my hands moving to on my side and all that. That is what we call visual field. So visual field is simply how wide you can see when you are looking straight ahead. Again, there are a lot of eye diseases which can affect your visual field, but glaucoma has a particular way in which it affects the visual field. So take note of that. And the disease is progressive, meaning when it starts deteriorating your vision, it doesn't stop. It will continue, progressive, it will continue, it will continue, deteriorating your vision. That is why we say the disease is progressive. The common name that we call glaucoma when you come to the eye clinic is that you have eye pressure. That is the common nest name that we give to it. But let me take this opportunity to explain to you that there are two diseases which cause which causes eye pressure in the eye in the eye or when the pressure of the eye goes up two diseases can be diagnosed one of them is glaucoma the second one is what we call ocular hypertension so there is a pressure in the eye just like we have the systemic arterial hypertension what we popularly call bp there's also a pressure in the eye, which is caused by the aqueous humor. I explained the aqueous humor in the other video part of the eyeball. So when the eye pressure goes up, it spreads to the entire eyeball. But the position where the optic nerve is attached to the eyeball is quite weak or vulnerable compared to the other part. So that part tends to be affected more and it can cause deterioration. So when we measure your eye pressure and it is up or it is high, and there is a defect, a characteristic defect to it and all that, then we diagnose glaucoma. But when there is no defect, characteristic defect to the optic nerve and your visual field, but then your eye pressure is high, then we diagnose as ocular hypertension. When you go to the eye clinic, your eye care professional or your doctor would, would check your eye pressure for you. Normal eye pressure usually ranges from 8 to 21 millimeters of mercury. The next question how severe is glaucoma? Well, glaucoma is the common, second commonest cause of blindness worldwide. It is the second commonest cause of blindness worldwide. So we should take note of that. That is how severe glaucoma is. And it's accounting for about 15% of blindness in Africa. Um, I think Ghana is the second leading country with the highest prevalence of glaucoma worldwide. I've worked in Zimbabwe too before I did a research there on glaucoma and most of the people who were reporting came with advanced disease, what we call the end stage glaucoma. And at that time, you can't do much about the disease. So they tend to be burdens to the family because they cannot go to work anymore. They are less productive and all that. 
that is how severe glaucoma can can be and one thing that we should also take note is that glaucoma um, is the commonest cause of irreversible blindness among African Caribbeans what we mean by irreversible blindness is this when someone is blind from certain conditions we can do certain things to restore the vision for example when someone has refractive error we can give spectacles and the person can see again in this case it is a reversible blindness just like you put the reverse gear of your car and then it goes back when they, when we are able to do something about the vision to restore it we say it's reversible glaucoma is irreversible uh, blindness from glaucoma is irreversible simply means no matter the treatment we are giving to you no matter the management we can't restore the lost vision we can restore the lost poor vision the lost visual field the lost optic nerve damage we can't restore it as at now so it is it causes irreversible blindness and is the commonest cause of irreversible blindness among african caribbeans unfortunately about 50 percent of glaucoma cases are undiagnosed that is because the commonest form of glaucoma called the primary open angle glaucoma is usually asymptomatic in the beginning it won't present you with symptoms um, symptoms simply means how you feel uh, or the things that you yourself you can identify and it will prompt you that something is wrong with your eye or your system for example um, someone can have painful eyes itchy eyes teary eyes and they, they'll be discharged in the eyes and they will report to the eye clean glaucoma won't present with all these um, kind of feelings in the initial stage so we even call it the silent thief of sight because it's not informing you but then it will be stealing your your sight gradually so it starts deteriorating or causing poor vision from the sight gradually and you'll not know it until um, it has advanced and you can not see even things which are just beside you what we call tunnel vision so now it's only things which are in front of you that you can see that is when people begin to have symptoms so about 50 percent of cases are undiagnosed and unfortunately even with proper management about 10 percent of people will still progress to blindness when you are giving proper management so if you take 10 people receiving proper treatment or management for glaucoma one of them will still deteriorate or progress to become blind from the condition so the best bet for you and i is to prevent this disease from uh, occurring in us and among us the next question that people are asking me what causes glaucoma well we don't know the actual cause as at now but we have risk factors risk factors simply means things which will expose you or increase the likelihood that you will get the disease okay and the commonest risk factor is increased eye pressure or increased intraocular pressure let me put it that there are people who can still have normal eye pressure and still have the disease that is how tricky glaucoma is people can still have normal eye pressure what we call the normal tension glaucoma and they'll still have the disease but when the eye pressure goes up it increases the vulnerability of damaging the optic nerve so let's take note of that the next um risk factor is black descendant or africans it is quite common among africans because the central cornea thickness if you want to know the cornea I explained in the other video it tends to be quite thinner the central cornea is quite thinner in in blacks so we tend to actually underestimate the intraocular pressure the eye pressure when we measure it okay so maybe we'll measure your eye pressure to find out that maybe your eye pressure is 12 but in reality it will be 15 because we are underestimating due to the thin nature or the thinness of your central cornea another risk factor is aging it is quite common in people who are 40 years and above that doesn't mean that it doesn't affect children and the youth no we have congenital glaucoma we have juvenile glaucoma in children okay neonatal infantile glaucoma in children newborns you can even give birth to a child who has glaucoma so please take note of all these things it's affecting everyone but it tends to be more common with age and especially from 40 years and above and people who have family history of glaucoma too tend to uh, be at risk 
So if you have a first degree family member who, is, who has glaucoma, maybe your parents or your siblings, it will be necessary for you to get your eyes checked because you may be having glaucoma without knowing it. So please take note of that. And then certain medications that we use, especially the steroids um, like prednisolone, some of them we swallow, we take them through the mouth. Some of them are um, creams that people have been using on their skin and some eye drops too. They tend to increase the eye pressure. So while you are thinking that you are self-medicating, um, you, you actually trigger factors to cause a more harmful, a more damaging effect to your eye. That is why self-medication is not good. Make sure you get your right prescription from a professional, whether you are taking the medication systema systemically or on your skin or your eye or anywhere. Make sure you're getting the right treatment. And finally, um, some systemic conditions like diabetes can also put you at risk of developing glaucoma. So people who have diabetes, we encourage you to go for annual eye examination for us to know what is happening to your eye. Diabetes has a lot of effect on the eye. One of them is glaucoma. All right, the next question that people are asking me, what are the symptoms of glaucoma? Well, glaucoma is usually asymptomatic or symptomless in the initial state, especially the commonest one accounting for about 90% of cases, the primary open angle glaucoma. You won't feel anything. That is because your central vision or the vision straight ahead is very good but your peripheral vision is the one which is being affected most. So occasionally, people can feel frontal headaches when the eye pressure goes up, especially with the um, acute angle clo closure glaucoma. You can feel nausea or vomiting and painful red eyes and all that, yes. And sometimes too, people see halos around light, so they see more like a ring around light whenever they are, they are looking at light. So those are some of the occasional symptoms that people would experience. But when the disease has progressed much, then people will realize that, yes, now they have poor vision. That is at the advanced stage of, the, of, of glaucoma, at the end stage of glaucoma. Poor vision and poor side vision or peri peripheral vision. And one thing that you should also take note is that the optic nerve is also responsible for seeing color, what we call color vision. So at the advanced stage of the disease, you are also going to experience poor color vision. These are occasional symptoms that people may experience. But as I said, the fact remains that at the beginning of the disease, you're not going to experience any symptoms at all. This is why we encourage everyone to check your eyes. Don't wait to, to experience any um, symptoms before you check your eyes. It may be too late for you. All right. Thank you very much. I end here with today's episode on glaucoma. And in the coming week, the other professionals will also act attend to other other aspect of glaucoma for you i would encourage you to leave your questions and your comments and i'll attend to it for you thank you very much once again and i hope you enjoyed this episode see you next time on the same channel